Hello and welcome to the Math for Fun. And in this video, we're going to do practice for derivatives using chain rule with trigonometric functions. Here we have the function f of x equal to sine 2x cubed. Apply the chain rule. What do we have to do here? Here we have sine of 2x cubed. So 2x cubed is inside the sine. So what do we do? We derive first the sine function and then we apply the derivative of the inside of the sine function for the next step. So what is the derivative of sine? It is cosine. So we write f prime of x is equal to cosine. Cosine what? Cosine 2x cubed. Because this is the angle for the sine function. And then we multiply by the inside of the sine to apply the chain rule. What's the derivative of the inside? What's the derivative of 2x cubed? It is 6x squared. It's 3 times 2, which is 6. And we take away 1 from the power, which is 3. It becomes 2. So now we have all of this multiplied by this. To write it properly, we say equal. We put 6x squared outside, like at the beginning, multiplied by cosine 2x to the power of 3. Why? Because sometimes students consider this multiplied by this, which is a mistake. Let me show you another example. Here we have y equal to tangent of 5x cubed. Let's keep 5x cubed in bracket to know that it's tangent of this. So this is tangent of an angle. What's the derivative of tangent? It's secant squared. So y prime is going to be equal to secant squared of what? Of 5x to the power 3. And then we multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is derivative of 5x cubed. What's the derivative of 5x cubed? It's equal to 15 x squared. Why? We drop down the 3, we multiply it by 5, and we take away 1 from the power 3, it becomes 2. Now we write it in proper form. It's equal 15 x squared at the beginning, multiplied by secant squared 5 x cubed. And that's it. Another example. Here we have the function y equal to secant 4 x to the power 5. So derivative of secant is secant times tangent. Like sometimes we say it's secant tangent. So we say dy by dx. I'm writing it in different forms because sometimes we write it y prime, sometimes we write it dy by dx. All of them means the same thing. So dy by dx is equal. Derivative for secant is secant. Secant for what? Secant for 4x four to the power 5 times tangent 4x to the power of 5. And don't forget to multiply by the derivative of the inside. What the derivative of the angle which is 4x to the power 5? So it is times 20x to the power 4. Why? Because we drop down the 5 and we multiply it by 4 and we take away 1 from the power 5, which becomes 4. And we write it properly. It's going to be equal to 20x to the power 4 secant 4x to the power 5 times tangent 4x to the power of 5. Another example. Here we have y equal cosecant 5x to the power 5. The derivative of cosecant is going to be minus cosecant cotangent. So I'm just reminding you for the rules. So to apply with chain, so we have to make the derivative of the cosecant first. And after we find it, we multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is 5x to the power 5. So y prime is going to be equal to minus cosecant 5x to the power 5 times cotangent 5x to the power 5 times the derivative of the inside which we drop down the 5 we multiply it by the 5 it becomes 25x to the power of 4 and we write it properly it's going to be equal minus we leave it 25x to the power 4 cosecant 5x to the power 5 cotan 5x to the power 5 and that's it another example here we have to apply product rule chain rule and trigonometry all together. Now, if we consider this as u and this as v, as we did in the previous video, you can say it's going to be equal to u prime v plus v prime u. So we say if y equal u times v, remember y prime is going to be equal u prime times v plus v prime times u. We are going to do this faster because you already watched the other video and you mastered the product rule. So y prime in this case is equal u prime v so this is u and this is v so we say u prime which is 5 times 2 which is 10 x to the power 4 and plus 3 derivative of plus 3 is going to be equal to 0 now all of this which is u prime we multiplied by v 
What is V in this case? It's cosine x squared. So times cosine x squared. Now we finish the first part, which is u prime v. Now plus v prime. What is v prime? What is the derivative of cosine x squared? The derivative of cosine is minus sine, and we have x squared. And don't forget, we have to multiply with the inside of the cosine. What is the inside of the cosine? It's x squared, so times 2x. The derivative of x squared is 2x. And don't forget, we have to multiply by the u, which is 2x to the power 5 plus 3. So now we are done. But we need to simplify. To simplify it, we say equals 10x to the power 4 times cosine x squared is already done. So we say 10x to the power 4 cosine x squared. Finish. So here we can take the minus sign and the 2x together and we multiply it by this bracket and we put them in one bracket and we put outside sine x squared. How to do that? So we have minus 2x times 2x to the power 5. Let's say plus here and we have minus 4x to the power 6 minus 2x times 3 which is minus 6x. All of them multiplied by sine x squared. And if you want to write it in another form, you can write equals 10x to the power 4 cosine x squared. Take out the minus sign, so it becomes outside minus 4x to the power 6 plus 6x. And here we have sine x squared. And you also can take, let's say, 2x common factor between here and here. And it's like different representation. All would be considered as correct. Another example. Here we need to apply the quotient rule because we have quotient minus 2x to the power 2 minus 5 divided by cosine 2x cubed. How to do that? As a reminder, if you have y equals to u over v, so y prime is going to be equal to u prime v minus v prime u over v squared. So to do that straightforward, we can say y prime is equal u prime, which is minus 4x to the power 1, and the derivative of the minus 5 is 0, all times cosine 2x cubed as it is, because this is u prime times v. And here we say minus v prime times u. So v prime, which is cosine 2x cubed, we have to derive it. What is the derivative of cosine 2x cubed? The derivative of cosine is minus sine, so minus and minus is going to be plus sine 2x cubed. Don't forget that we have to derive the 2x cubed also because we need to apply chain rule here. So the derivative of 2x cubed is going to be 6x squared. So times 6x squared and all multiplied by minus 2x squared minus 5. And we divide them all by the v squared. v squared is considered to be cosine 2x cubed all squared. So we write cosine 2x cubed all squared squared. How to simplify that? We write y prime equals, now minus 4x multiplied by cosine 2x cubed, it becomes minus 4x cosine 2x cubed. Nothing changed. For the second one, we say 6x squared and minus 2x squared minus 5, we can multiply them all together and we keep sine 2x cubed alone. So we say plus, open bracket, Minus 2 times 6, which is minus 12x to the power 4, because we add the powers of x squared and x squared. And we have 6x squared times minus 5. It becomes minus 30x squared. And we multiply them all by sine 2x to the power of 3 over cosine 2x cubed. All to the power 2, it becomes cosine squared of 2x to the power of 3. Square is only for the cosine, because 2x cubed is an angle inside the cosine. So it's cosine and angle. We make it to the power of 2, so it becomes cosine squared of the angle. And we can stop here. Let's go for another example. Here we have f of x equal to sine cubed x to the power of 5. How to do that? Remember, this is in the same form as equal to sine x to the power of 5 all to the power of 3. That 3 is a power for the sine and x to the power 5 is an angle inside the sine. It's sine of an angle. So now to do that, we do chain rule. First thing, remember, let's go step by step to understand that. Here we have sine, it's a sine function. 
x to the power 5 is a function in itself also. And all the bracket here is to the power 3, which is also a function. So to apply chain rule here, remember and follow the steps. Let's start from the bigger one first. So we say f prime of x equals. Now, we start by the 3. We drop it down. We keep everything inside the bracket as it is because it is like the form x to the power of 3. So we drop down the 3 and we take away 1 and we move for the second step. Let's drop down the 3. It becomes 3 bracket sine x to the power 5 and we take away 1 from the power. It becomes 3 minus 1 which is 2. We finish the first one which is the power. Now let's go inside the bracket. We have sine x to the power of 5. What is the derivative of sine x to the power of 5? times is cosine x to the power 5. Did we finish? No, we didn't finish yet. Also, we have x to the power 5. We have to do the derivative of it. So x to the power 5 derivative is 5x to the power of 4. So we take away from the 5. Now, did you get it? Remember, step by step, we drop down the 3 and we take away 1 from the 3 and we write the function as it is. And now we multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is the sine. It becomes cosine. We keep the inside of the cosine as it is. And then we do the derivative of the inside of the sine, which is x to the power 5. It becomes 5x to the power 4. Now we can simplify all. It becomes equal to, here we have a number. Here we have a number because all of them are multiplied together. So we say 3 times 5, which is 15. And we have x to the power 4. We write it, x to the power 4. And here, those, we can write them in any order. It becomes like times sine instead of putting the square on the bracket we can put it on the sine itself and we keep x to the power 5 here times cosine x to the power of 5 and that's it and here i can say that we reach the end of the video if you like the video don't forget to like and share and welcome to math for fun and bye for now